the Great Karoo Desert in South Africa. As in all dry regions, water is an extremely scarce source. Long periods of little rain leave rivers drained and plants dried out. But it's different for the people of Jansenville. An innovative project has changed the shortage of water, the communal water house. Yeah, the idea of the communal water house is to apply modern technologies to solve an urgent problem in this country, water supply. This is done by applying recycling of water and by using solar energy instead of fossil fuels. The communal water house was financed by the German Federal Ministry of Education and Research and the South African Department of Science and Technology. In the past, women would wash their clothes at home. After finishing, they would waste the water by pouring it on the ground, thereby polluting the groundwater. Also, heating the water was too expensive. Women would arduously wash their clothes with cold water. Hello, Nico. Hello, Nico. What are you doing on Friday? I'm going to wash my clothes with Access to enough water is one of the world's most urgent problems. To solve these problems, innovative technology and international cooperation is needed. Thus, the German South African pilot project is in operation since 2009. I'm very grateful of the partnership between us as a municipality, Kwezi, together with uh, uh, the German partners. <laughs> We do it with modern technologies from Germany, which is well known here because of the um, automotive industry, the cars, which are constructed close to uh, this place. We do it together with a community, with the municipality Equisi here. We're very proud and very glad to have them because they are a community which we can rely on. We know and they know we can do more together. The centre of the water house is the communal room. There, educational activities like personal hygiene or HIV prevention take place. Also, municipality announcements can be read. Furthermore, sanitary products like soap or washing powder are sold for fair prices. Separate warm water showers and toilets for men and women are available. In the laundry room, spacious wash basins enable the women to wash their clothes with warm tap water. In the near future, a drinking water treatment station will be installed. Our concept of the communal water house is not only about saving water, but also about avoiding and recycling wastewater as much as possible. Fresh water is used in the first place for the showers. Afterwards, it is recycled in the water treatment station. From there, the water is reused in the laundry and toilets. Additionally, a big part of the laundry water is returned to the water treatment station for recycling. Simultaneously, Water is heated in the solar box. Inside the solar box, heat from hot air is transferred to the water. Hot air is generated in the solar air collector on the roof of the communal water house. When the water enters the treatment station, it is merely ventilated to decompose the organic substances. Thereupon, we have a sedimentation section and a filter where the last suspended substances are withheld. Then, the water is disinfected by ultraviolet light and brought to a storage tank, from where it is taken and reused in the laundry basins and toilets. The system works completely self-sustaining. Collector-integrated photovoltaics produce the energy for the facility, which means that when the sun is shining, the system starts working automatically. Therefore, 
warm water for showers and laundry basins can be provided easily. The communal water house saves 50% water, a huge amount for a water scarce region like the Igwezi municipality. Additionally, the water house saves as much power as 100 people would need. There's a lot of great opportunities and advantages that this water house brought to our community. One, we are a community with a shortage of water and we are able now to save water, recycle water and reuse them and so on. It also educates our people of not wasting water. That is the advantage. The second advantage is that it brings people together in order to share their experiences, knowledges, and all the different things as community. It brings that Ubuntu back to the society. The communal water house, a modern and sustainable solution for energy and water supply.